This is Ayn Alam at 13. She is the principal character of my new film, Yet Utilij. Yet Utilij is an Amharic. In English, it means child of the breast. It's a traditional thing. It has its own specific rituals, and it has a great deal of implications. It is about a young woman that the family uh, gives away to a well-to-do family in order to transform her peasant circumstances through education, etc. But contrary to what they had promised, they just turned her into a domestic servant. Not only she's a domestic servant, but she's brutally exploited. In the end, it's a, a human story of love, but also the obstacles of love. I want to tell a story about underclass people. Are they entitled to have an ordinary life? And what are the forces that determine the destiny of their love? I'm trying to do a very personal film, and I'm asking you to help me based on my past work. I come from a group of filmmakers. With low budget, we can create a good cinema. The work we've done in the past, Sankova, Teza, Bush Mama, Ashes and Embers, these are low budget films we've done. Harvest 3,000 years, low budget. One of the things we crafted and we're proud of is how we can do with less money a film that could go into international festival and come out with prizes left and right. Without money, films could not be made. And unfortunately, um, uh, this is a reality uh, that has hampered uh, many good stories from becoming film stories, especially in third world countries, Africa, Asia, Latin America. Can you imagine the stories? It's not just getting the camera and shooting, but also shooting the aura of a people. I'm interested in the soul of Ethiopians, amplifying and their energy transmitting into people who have come to sit down to look at their story. You know, this girl for me lives with me all my life. She has a piece of me. Before I left for America, I see her, I shot her in this image. She haunts me. This is Ayn Alam for me. She looks at me. Yeah, you went to America. Oh yeah, you live in America. You talk a lot of stuff. I remain where I am, where you left me. That's the, the schizophrenic life I have in America. My body here, my mind there. Flashing to these images of these people whose eyes looked at me honestly. And I'm trying to work out a few films before I die to say, I remember these things.